Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Johnny Barnes, the general manager with Bow Floor, based in Cartersville. Johnny, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I want to talk to you about this news that broke yesterday on the 4th of July about the Bowyer International Group acquiring Bowyer Canada and Bowyer Australia. So before we get into that, a little background on you. Looks like you've been the general manager with Bow Floor for about a year and a half, and prior to that you spent, what, about 22 years with Apache Mills, right? That is correct. I've been in the industry uh, over 20 years, yeah. and uh, the last year and a half with Bow Floor USA. Okay. And so another thing, background refresh my listener's memory, in Cartersville, kind of there behind the Budweiser plant, just north of Atlanta, uh, Bow Floor has built a massive sheet resilient plant, right? That's correct. It's a state-of-the-art cushion vinyl manufacturing plant, which is one of the few lines in the world with five-meter manufacturing capabilities. Uh, it represented over $100 million investment in the cushion vinyl operation, and there's still 120 acres of uh, property on the track of land for future development of the uh, North American operations at Bowfloor. So you sell under the Bowfloor brand name. You also have some major... Uh, national accounts that you sell to, and some OEN business, right? That is correct. We're primarily selling, you know, the Bofor branded products to the uh, retail dealers, but then we're also selling some non-branded product, you know, for the builder multifamily markets, but then also into the manufactured housing and RV markets as well. Okay, one other thing, if you could help me, many people might know this, but Bowyer International Group and, and even Bowyer of America all used to be related. There was a gentleman named Roger DeClark, who I believe had six children, and one of his children was Mike DeClark, and she married Carl Buchart. They started Bowyer of America, and over the course of several years, she was also in charge of this division of Bowyer Canada and Bowyer Australia. So this is somewhat of a merging of family relatives, isn't it? That is correct. In approximately 2005, I think four of the family members came back together to form the Bowyer International Group. Mm-hmm. One of the family members who remained separate was uh, Mika de Klerk with her group of companies that included Bowyer of America, Bowyer Canada, and Bowyer Australia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, most of everybody knows the, the, the fate of Bowyer of America, and she's gone on to run Canada and Australia. And there's no disclosure on the purchase price on this, is there? No, the terms of the uh, purchase price are, are not disclosed. Yeah, but just I'm just looking at the press release. It's kind of interesting to see. So Bowyer International Group now, uh, with the turnover of this acquisition, now represents a 2 billion euro of annual business and a billion of that is in the flooring and another billion of that is in i guess what you'd call components which would be what uh, polymer and fiber right that's correct there's over a billion dollars in turnover in uh, flooring solutions which would be more wall-to-wall flooring uh, Mm -hmm. products but then within the polymer division would also make polymers that would be sold or that would be turned into yarn or to ultimately into carpet mm-hmm. and then there's the engineered products which would be you know more technical textiles mm-hmm. and the company now has what five thousand people worldwide right five thousand employees worldwide yeah. doing business in 16 different countries mm-hmm. and either 29 different manufacturing plants or sales office around the world mm-hmm. so then this company is based in belgium right it is, it is based in uh, Wilsbecka, Belgium. All right. So what does this mean to the Bowfloor business, w- which you work for? I think it's a great strategic opportunity for Bowfloor to, to take advantage of the partnerships that uh, Bowu Canada has in the North American market mm-hmm. for we can look for expanded opportunities to sell uh, our products. But also there's the opportunity to collaborate on product that we can bring uh, products from Bowie Canada into the U.S. market as well. Mm-hmm. Actually, there's a brand that uh, Bowie Canada has that's already been represented down here. What, what is that brand? Uh, that's the Peerless mm-hmm. brand. That's right. sold into the uh, hospitality market, but uh, we do see that as an opportunity for us as we look to expand our, our hospitality market as well. Okay. All right. Well, this is big news. I want to make sure uh, our listeners n- knew about it. Uh, again, we've been talking to Johnny Barnes, a general manager with Bowfloor, about Bowie International Group's acquisition of Bowie Canada and Bowie Australia. And you've been listening to Kempar and FloridaLA.net.